Georgia Georgia Ray Charles left a strong family legacy that he probably didn't even realize. We're going to show you who we mean. Mrs. Sheila Ray Charles, his daughter. That's right. You got to go, baby. Hit the road, Jack. The, the craziest thing about my life is, is that I never knew who I was. Um, I was always, hi, this is Ray Charles' daughter. And that's a hell of a lot of pressure on an eight-year-old child who doesn't even have the concept of who Ray Charles really is. Ray, the world loved Ray Charles. I, you know, I never knew who he was until I was 12. And so for me to have to live up to his identity without even having a real relationship with him, was very hard for me, and so I got a very good relationship with crack cocaine. It was my best friend. I was lost, and, a world that I never knew. and I could relate when I saw the movie Ray with how my father did that. That was one reason why, one of the reasons, as, as crazy as it seemed, that I stayed in my addiction. I had something in common with my father. Just look at my Sheila Ray Charles is the kind of person that really excites me because she's all feeling. She's uh, what you see is what you get. I'm the meanest damn woman you ever will see. I mean, if you look at my life, I, six years ago, I was sleeping on somebody's crack floor trying to run from the feds. It brings a tear. I mean, God really laid it heavy to me on my heart to be transparent, to tell the truth, to not hide anything from the world. Through my addiction, um, you know, um, there's a pit of hell that I don't think is describable. Um, I think that um, what happens when you get to a place in your life where you have, it's, you have a choice of either life or death. And I had found myself in, in federal prison for larceny. And I woke up there one morning and I looked up and I said, oh my God, I am in federal prison I have five children. I've lost custody of every single one of them. My youngest baby, I had her in my arms for an hour and I have never seen her since to this day. And um, I said, God, if this is how I have to live, if this is what is in store for me for the rest of my life, then just take it, just take me off this planet. I, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna live this life anymore because I have no value. Um, my mom's dead. My father won't talk to me anymore. You know, he tried everything that he could to get me out of this, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to the best attorneys. He did everything he could in his way. And sometimes I just wanted him to talk to me. And, you know, that wasn't my dad's way. He just wasn't like that. And so when I said, God, if you will just relieve me from this life. I'll know that you are God and you're real. Ooh, I need you, baby, to please, please come on home. Meeting the majority of one's brothers and sisters for the first time at a father's funeral was quite emotional. Um, you know, I think that one of the things um, that has changed my life is the fact that I have gotten to embrace my brothers and sisters that I didn't grow up with, that I didn't know anything about. Because I always believed all my life that it was just Ray Jr., Bobby, and David, and then Evelyn. To find out that there was seven other children, it was shock. You give your hand to me, and then you say hello, and I can hardly speak. My heart is so. This documentary is important to me because it shows that our father had kids. Up until now, you don't hear anything about us. And we've been kind of like put to the side and, and um, not really so much on his part, but um, well, he's gone now, you know, so 
not so much him, but you know, other people that don't want us known, don't want the public to know that we exist. You are so beautiful. To me. Through her triumphs and a conscious contact with you God, she shows others by example so what beautiful. can be done. No matter how great your fall is, there's nothing that you cannot rise up to and rise above and rise from. Every single human being on this planet of Earth has the ability to tap into that power and come up out of a hell that they could never think, believe that they could. And that's what's important for me for this documentary and for my life story. I mean, the whole thing that's, that's just coming together. And I need you guys to know, I need that one person or a million people to know there's nothing that we can't overcome and it all has to do with love. Love covered a multitude of everything. You are so beautiful.